What's going on everybody? I am DadBot. In tonight's Ahorn tutorial, we are talking about tutorials. Mainly the uh, the custom just like movement tutorial and the bird tutorial. So let's get started. Get in loser, we're going to the internet. All right, before we get started, I got to give a big shout out to Viv, who is obviously the creator of Viv's Helper. This is one of the dependencies that we are going to be working with today that makes everything really, really, really easy. Uh, so I've left links for both of these down in the description below. Make sure you grab these. The first one is, yes, going to be Viv's Helper. So make sure we go down, down. There are so many different things in this helper. It's insane. Viv, by the way, is like super awesome uh in working on the map that we're about to take a look at uh, i needed some custom stuff and they were just like okay boom and it was like an hour later and it's like okay well here's a totally new custom entity specifically to do what you need done so you're awesome thank you anyways let's download this and then we are also going to download Caden's commands this is by Caden fox uh, this is what is going to make the, the like, custom commands that we can see right here. And it, it's really, really, really simple. All right. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is open up your console. And the easiest way to do that is if you look down at your keyboard, uh, immediately to the left of your number one key, there's a little squiggly line boy. I think that's what they, uh, call it. Uh, you can see here, I've already got the different commands up, but you can type help help loads up all the commands that are in there. Now, once you've installed Caden's commands, it adds a few more. We can see near the bottom, uh, the second to last line, we see start underscore REC and stop underscore REC. Those are the two commands that we are going to be concerned with today. Start underscore REC obviously starts the recording playback. Stop underscore REC stops that playbook. Playback. Couple things to note. Actually, mainly just one. You can't die. Uh, you could pause, but you cannot die. If you uh, die, you just have to stop and start it all over again, I found, which is kind of weird. So what we're going to do is we are going to start with start underscore REC. There we go. And then space. Now, whatever we type after that space is going to be the name of the file that we create. So if there's a certain... Uh, sometimes you want to name it after the room that it's in or a certain move that you're doing, whatever. For this case, we are going to go uh, F-O-T-A test. And then as soon as we hit start recording, you got to get ready to go. So let's go. Started recording. Okay. And now we are going to quickly go stop record. Okay. And we can see here saved playback as F-O-T-A test dot bin. Very cool. Now we are going to open up the file where all of our mods are in, and we're gonna go back one to the root of Celeste. And in here, we're gonna to go to the content folder, the tutorials folder, and a new folder will be created here called custom playbacks. And we have one that's called F-O-T-A test dot bin. We are going to, um, you can remove it from here. I'm just going to cut it out. And this is going to cause us to, we're going to have to make a new folder. So we'll go to F-O-T-A. And in here, we're going to create a new folder called tutorials with a capital T. Very important, capital T. Open that up. I'm actually going to delete that one out of there. And we are going to paste the new bin in this tutorials folder. Step one, two, step one and two is complete. Moving on to step three, I think. All right, now that we have Ahorn open, we have our playback created. We have the bin in the correct folder. We just need to be able to call upon this playback. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to entities... And we are going to look for custom player playback from Viv's Helper. The reason I use the one from Viv's Helper is because it adds a little bit more customization, and that's what this is all about. 
So we are going to place it. Now, here's a really important thing. Wherever you place this, that's where the playback is going to start. So if it's something basic, like something vertical, then it's it's fine. You can place it wherever you want it to be. In the case of this map, it's showing the very first interaction here. So I want to make sure that it starts like right where I spawn in, because if I move it forward, it's going to look like I'm doing some weird crap. Some weird crap. So we are going to first just kind of have this so we can uh, edit it. So custom string ID, you just want to leave alone until you make, um, you can make if you want uh, a trigger that will trigger this. Uh, and you'll see that there's actually a trigger in here that's just the exact same name as this. So when you step onto it, it spawns that trigger. For this though, we are just going to go into tutorial. We see that there are the base game tutorials. We are going to type in FOTA test. And the color, we have a lot of color options. That's kind of one of the things I like the best about this is I can select different colors. So we are going to, uh, let's go with steel blue. That sounds awesome. I'm gonna update that. I'm gonna drop that right where I spawn in because that's where I started. All right, after saving, let's load it up again and see how we look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that wasn't too bad, just a couple of steps and you are making your own custom tutorials because I know like there's a lot of new like tech that people are using. There's a lot of just crazy things and you, you might want to just like teach or set the standard for what kind of difficulty you're going to get. And you know, this is a great way to do it. Uh, the other way is just to do like a custom bird tutorial. We're going to search for bird and it's custom bird tutorial. So I'm going to have this guy right here. And this is actually really, really simple. You're going to right click bird. And now you've got a couple options. You have the controls here and you can see. So the info is uh, the type of tutorial. So there's a couple just base game ones. If you want to do that, if you want something custom, you can change your controls. You know, this uh, shows the controls. If you hover over controls, that actually shows you what controls will work so you can you know if you want the picture of the and actually here i'll just show you really quick it's probably the easiest way to do it right so we can see like the actual picture of the controls uh, and then we could impact that if we just go in and change this to anything so let's say i want just downright we're going to update this we're going to save this and now bird just says downright, which obviously we know that's a lie. That's not how you jump. That is a lie and it's not good to lie. But what if we just want like just something totally different? Like it doesn't actually have to be controls. You can put any string of text. Uh, you can put, I'm a bird. And save that. And then I'm a bird. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But jump is not really, unless it's saying jump, I'm a bird. Like it's threatening me or like that's a reason that I should jump, which it's not. But we could give it a reason. And the way that we do that is by creating a new uh, piece of info. So we're gonna call this FOTA test. All right, we've got to go back in here, dialogue english.txt and we're gonna go to FOTA test equals uh, hey loser, gonna save it, close that there, save, reload, hey loser, I'm a bird, it's beautiful, beautiful, so you can make this do and say pretty much whatever you want, keep it safe for work kids, alright, that is all we have for tonight, I hope this was informative to you, let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below, and until next time, have a great night.